Well, Tubi has everything. <laughs> they got something called Black Scorpion, some 90s show about a superheroine in, in some made-up city, and she fights crime. And I'm like, where did this show come from? Like, to, to tell you how Tubi is, they have Dark Shadows, a soap opera, I think, from Australia or England. I can't remember where. I can think it was England. About this vampire that if you've seen that movie with uh, uh, Johnny Depp, mm -hmm. where he plays a vampire, yeah, that's the movie that they based off of. The, that's they based off that off of the, uh, the off of the show, the soap opera, oh, and really? it was a long soap opera for it was years and years, right, until the character came in, and that's when it hit, it, it hit big. It, it became popular with the vampire character, and then it kept going on for years after that. Oh, really? They started adding like supernatural elements to it. To, to the soap so it didn't have originally any supernatural elements that I know of. I don't think so. I and that it eventually I could did. be wrong. Yeah, but that's what happened. But like you have the dark, they got dark shadows the early years. So all the years without the vampire guy, and then you have when his, his uh, serial started, yeah. his storyline, and just like a thousand episodes after that, and they have all they have all of them. Oh my god! I'm like, oh lord! <laughs> they have every single episode from the very beginning. Because at first it was just a vampire one, right? Yeah. And I guess Toby thought like, oh, well, they like this one, so let's let's drop the originals. And like, so you can watch the whole thing from beginning to, maybe I should do like a, a little like episode. Aren't they like an hour long? Yeah, but I can do like a little like story bit, like for like five minutes. Yeah. Until like, until I'm, and then I move into like something more uh, like the main storyline or what my main uh, theme or my main subject. No, no, I mean like you're you'd be watching a oh well, sh well yeah <laughs> like not the not the not the uh, podcast time taken up I'm talking about like <laughs> just <life>. watch in general <laughs> watch it so far but <laughs> well, that is yeah because they have every single day yeah like Monday through Friday yes and like it's not like I can watch One Piece is weekly I can catch up if I watch one episode of One Piece I catch up eventually one a day right right. But if this, you're watching I'm one a day. Watching like it's really came out. Oh my god, it'd be real time. <laughs> I'd be aging like John, like Judge Dredd in the comics. Because even if you spent five hours one day watching it, that's only five. What, five one week, one week worth of episodes. Yes. Am I that strong, <laughs> strong enough for that? <laughs> Can I handle all that. These soap, I can't handle soap operas at all. <laughs> I just think there's some soap operas still going on. Yeah, to this day, ever since we were kids, and they'll still be going on. You, you you used to watch it as a kid, right? Then you come back as an adult. Yeah. You're like, oh, Trevor's still on there? <laughs> He's married? <laughs> to Rebecca? They used to hate each other when I was eight years old, and now I'm 45. <laughs> still going on? They're still in love. Isn't that what uh, George R. R. Martin first started writing on? It was a soap opera? Did he? Yeah, I think so. I didn't know that. Yeah. Is that why it's taking him so long? <laughs> He's trying to make an actual soap opera of his goddamn books? <laughs> Imagine if the game is almost a sub opera. <laughs> five episodes a week <laughs> for like the last five years. <laughs> Super shitty budget, but at least the, the human element will be there. <laughs> I guess it's a good way to learn the human element of the stories. Yeah. That's all they talk about. <laughs> they don't have budget for anything else. Not really, no. <laughs> but yeah, I think you yeah, think you originally started off doing sub operas, huh? Yeah. That Which is crazy. Yeah, weird way to start. <laughs> Most of them start making erotic erotica. Under pseudonyms, that's the only way you can make any money at first. I think he might have. <laughs> they all have. I think. <laughs> this is James Patterson, and this is the, the my short story about a penis. <laughs> but he had to do a different name, so it's like. But instead of just getting naming himself something else, right? He just say nothing, something super obvious. This is James uh, Patterspiel. Patterspiel, <laughs> yeah, where they always change their name to something really just like on the nose, <laughs> like you know who it is. This is, they, this is Greg a B B a Barton. <laughs> uh this is uh Trevor uh Prince. Not not Stephen King, Trevor Prince. Yeah, he he worked on that thing called Beauty and the Beast from nineteen eighty seven to nineteen ninety. So you gotta, you gotta make them bills. He wrote thirteen episodes. You gotta pay them bills. Only thirteen? And he played the restaurant patron. <laughs> of course he did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wait, he... Was it a soap opera or just a show? I don't. I think it may have been just a show. If you only got the right three episodes, thirteen episodes in three years. They have like fucking. Well, it says uh, eight hundred episodes a year. A Beauty and the Beast uh, is an American fantasy drama television show that aired on CBS uh, from September of nineteen eighty seven to August of nineteen ninety, hmm. and it had fifty six episodes, three seasons. You got thirteen. You got a good chunk. Yeah. 
You must have not been a sub bump by then. No, but I'm I'm yeah, sure he like had. fucking three hundred episodes. Because <laughs> we had minus weekends. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, you don't get a lot of time off either to sub operas. You get the weekends off and you gotta come right back to work and start working for the next episode for the day. I know. <laughs> must, they might have to work it the day before to get it up for the next day. Jeez. Yeah. Jeez. Soap operas are brutal. We don't know anything about them, but all of a sudden they're the most brutal fucking programming <laughs> in history. Yeah. Not like late, late night talk shows. Like they would go, they, they'd be. That's why they have a team of writers though, too. Yeah. It's not ju- like the hosts don't write half of those fucking jokes. Of course not. It's a team of writers, but having them. to be up there every single day, every weekday, I'm like, man, yeah, must have get me grueling after a while. <laughs> we're having like the worst guests you could possibly have, and you're trying to like liven up the crowd, and then we're like, oh, that was fucking suck. <laughs> you're not Johnny. You're not what was it was the name? The 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 original. Uh, you're not Johnny Carson. Yeah, you son of a bitch. It's kind of like whenever somebody goes under the prices right now, it's like, you're not fucking Bob Barker. Fuck you. He's like, he grabs you by the fucking collar. No, bitch, I'm Drew fucking Gary. <laughs> and then, be, you better spit that fucking wheel. It'd be funny if somebody said, who? <laughs> if I can pick him up a spot, he's like, he had one of the oddest rises to fame I've ever seen. Like, one day he just had the show, the Drew Carey show. Yes. That, 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 Which was funny. And that show is like, it's, I've never seen it since. Really? Where I've never seen it anywhere. You can't find it anywhere? There's no, like, you You can't, like, do, what would I look for? Like, Tubi? Maybe. The, the only <laughs> fucking place it would have would be fucking Tubi. It's like, we got everything. <laughs> we even had a Drew Carey show. Like, Mimi was one of the funniest characters. Yeah. With the makeup where she looked like a clown. <laughs> but, like, you have that show, right? And you barely see it anywhere. Or you, no one talks about it. Nothing. Yeah. Like, it's just, it's no longer part of the, the pop culture, uh, I guess, like, pool? I don't know. Maybe, like, after a while. Like, it's not part of the zeitgeist anymore? I guess not. I guess stuff, like, certain stuff just kind of, like, disappears. Like, I, that, there was uh, Frasier, there was Cheers, there was uh, Becker. I don't know if you remember that show ever. I have no idea. You know the guy that plays uh, The Good Place? Ted Danson? Yeah. He was in Becker? Yeah. What the fuck is Becker? It was, a, a, <laughs> like, a comedy <laughs> sitcom. Uh-huh. It, it was where, uh, I think he was the original character from uh, Cheers. Well, like, I know those, like, those are, like, uh, like classics, right? That mm-hmm. just, like, w- over time have just, you know. Kind of faded a little. Because, you know, more people haven't seen them, more of our generation. Yeah. But I'm talking about, like, shows that were, like, huge at a time, and, like, they just drop off, and, like, you never hear from them again. Like the Drew Carey. Like the Drew Carey. Like, it's just no yeah. one talks about it at all. That is true. The same with like uh, like the ways kids you know. Like I watched that for, consistently. IFC, it was always on there. Like and they would always fill up spots for it, and it was on there for uh, five long years, mm-hmm. and then like it just disappeared. Uh, what else? Like uh, uh, what's another show that was like massive? Like uh, Hannah? No, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Remember that show as a kid? Yeah. Where Where is it? Nobody knows. No one even talks about it. Nobody even talks about that. So Raven anymore. I didn't even watch it. See what I mean? Like these. But I, like it was one of those kind of shows that even if you didn't watch it, you knew about it. Because it was massive. Yeah, and now you don't even hear about it anymore. No like uh, we, the only reason we still hear, hear about Game of Thrones is because of the new show. Yeah. And like the old ones, like slowly fading. It's not really fading, fading, because you'll always have like people talking about like you know Khaleesi, or like the Dothraki and the, you know the language and all that. Mm-hmm. So it's always going to be, but some certain stuff stays forever. Mm-hmm. And uh, other stuff. Just, like you don't hear about Call Drogo. Right. But like, uh, it, like for me, it's like it's, uh, that uh, FOMO, like fear of missing out. Yeah. Like what if there's like a gem out there, like some perfect fucking movie or show that you've never seen or you've seen a long time ago. And you're like, you're missing out on that. Like you're missing that part of your soul. You, you got to go find it. I'll have to search and see if I can find one for you. <laughs> what, just a random show? That it's like, oh yeah. That like, oh my God. Like that fucking, you remember the the... The Thornberries, where it was a little girl and their their, their parents were in the safari all the time with a talking monkey, and like Nigel was like the dad, but it was like the voice of like that one guy that played it back in the nineties. Not ringing. See what I mean? See what I mean? <laughs> there was that one show about those kids that were like in living in Hawaii and they loved to surf. It was like on Nickelodeon. Oh, I didn't have Nickelodeon, so like there's just like there's so much <laughs> shit. 
<laughs> the fucking that, that one show about those land sharks uh, that uh, that they were people. Oh, uh, and they got turned into the, sharks. the street sharks. Yes. Yeah. It's like what? See, the I know that one. fucking gargoyles. Fucking uh, gargoyles. Like, what's really weird though is you still find action figures for it. And the collectibles, like, like they're still like they're still making new collectibles for gargoyles, but you've never heard. No, like some people, it's like I don't know what that is. It's cool, like a cool, you know, little statue. Like, uh, what's it, the the Wildcats or Thundercats or not Thundercats, but yeah, Thundercats. SWAT, SWAT cats. You remember SWAT cats? They were those two guys that were cops, and they, but they, they for some reason they were cops, but they had a fucking fighter jet. And oh, they got fucking yeah. fired. <laughs> they got fired. So they became like, if I was the fucking commissioner, right? And I saw two vigilantes, the same two looking motherfuckers flying, doing the exact same thing as vigilante. Like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> I would fire them if I was, if they, I mean, you, you don't know who they are. <laughs> you literally fired them, the two just like them who do the exact same yes. thing. Yes. And they're not doing it as vigilante. They, they didn't fucking disappear, bro. <laughs> you know, God dang well. <laughs> <laughs> and like you didn't question as a kid but now as an adult like why the fuck did they have a fighter jet right they were fucking cops <laughs> why did they meet it and 90 percent of the fucking problems had to involve the fighter jet because <laughs> it was necessary <laughs> well it's kind of like that thing people don't remember and, what oh happened. yeah when you saw them without it right doing stuff outside you were like what's going on they're fighting like on foot and you know i'm like you would like <laughs> upset the hell out of you <laughs> they gotta be in their fighter jet <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like it, it changed the like the dynamic didn't work if they were not in the if there was that that big motherfucking tomcat in the front and that skinny cat in the back yeah. didn't work apparently. Well, uh, do you remember the uh, what was the name of it? Do not remember the fucking name of this. Uh, it's a uh, old cartoon, but where they had the uh, the five different cat like Megazords. Yeah, like I cannot remember the damn name. Was it Zoids? Was it Zoids? No, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about, though? Uh, uh, Where they lived on another world. Yeah, no. Like, it was spacey. And I think Robot Chicken made fun of them in their first episode. I think they, they did. did. a rap battle. No, they did a breakdance battle. <laughs> yeah, it was a breakdance yeah. battle. Yeah, yeah. But it was, like, almost like a Gundam you, type thing. I know what you're talking about. But yeah, they were five cats. Yeah. They would all turn into one fucking dude. Yes. Yeah, I remember. It was like, I remember the name, though. But people forget about it, though. Man. There's a lot of good uh, cartoons and there's anime. Just, there's just so much content. Like it, a lot of it, it just gets. And, if, and nowadays, if you don't specialize, <laughs> you're lost in the void. Yeah. But, uh, see, that's why I like doing this podcast, though, because we can actually talk about some of the things that existed a long time ago. Not to. The, I, I'm not going to go back to the mid '80s. <laughs> like I wasn't even born. But <laughs> well, what was that show called? Hmm. It'll be in my head for a while. But uh, it, it wasn't Zoids, though. Cause that's something else. Yeah. Do you remember? And this is going to be a wild one. It was okay. a Cartoon Network, right? Cartoon Network show? Uh, I think it was, uh, they got it from, it was an anime for sure. Right. And they would travel around this deserted fucking uh, landscape, a you know, wasteland, and they would battle each other in uh, animal-shaped uh, or animal-themed robots. And one guy had a tiger, and he would have either a big muscular tiger a cheetah x tiger or a cheetah tiger or like a blue like uh balanced tiger or like a lion like a cat like a giant cat right and he would fight other other groups like they would all be in these big ass tankers and they would be like they're like rolling like rvs basically but also like uh the 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 inside of it was uh for like uh maintenance of the the, the specific uh droid or <laughs> specific robot and there would be a person inside so it's kind of like a gundam and they would battle each other for the entertainment of the masses. And it would be like tournaments. And like there was a really dark one that was a, a after a, a T-Rex that was like the main villain. You ever seen that? Uh, sadly, I could picture it. You got it? I don't know the name of it though. So basically he would have three different forms of his own. Yeah. Like the normal one, like the most balanced one was uh, the, the, I think the, the center one, right? Mm -hmm. Then he had a heavy duty one. And then he had a, a really thin one that was like really fast. Yeah. And then he would like, uh, sometimes, one time he fought an elephant that was a super heavy tank. And so he had to use, I think, speed to beat it. I can't remember what he used. And then other times it was like just regular Velociraptor robots. And like, they were always having fights with different tournaments. They were always, they won, they earned money every time they won. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I can picture the, 
the anime in my head. I cannot remember the fucking name. <laughs> it's like how you can remember the damn uh, the little lion tiger fucking things where they turn yeah. into a Megazord. But I can't remember what they're called. Yeah. I can't even hear their voices, which is annoying. And like it was like it was like, it was always that goofy kid, like uh, and I, I guess it was a big ar- like a, an arching story to it. Yeah, but I don't remember what it was. But like I remember that show because it was so uh, entertaining. I guess. Yeah. So it was like, oh, cool! Like there's no like heist, and no one's gonna die. You know, you lose, and you know you get defeated. And yeah. You, your robot gets broken. Maybe you, you're you're out of the tournament for out of the competition forever. Yeah. Until you get another one. But like it was like you know just like daily life, like slice of life. Uh, just with done it with robots. Well, like, uh, do you remember Metabots? There was Metabots. Yeah, sounds familiar. <laughs> you see, you know the name though. What is that? It's the one where they had that like uh, dude in yellow armor, I think. Mm-hmm. But uh, it's a, a dro- like not a giant droid. It's a small android. Hmm. Then you had Astro Boy. Astro Boy, yeah. Well, we're not knows Astro, but that's you know more commonly known. I mean, that's one of those like. Uh... Do you remember Beast Morphers though? Sounds familiar. It was a knockoff of Transformers. I thought it was Transformers. Is it? Like a spinoff of it. It might be where it takes place where they uh, they well, took like, on the shape of animals. Wait, if I remember, they landed on the planet, right? Yeah. And like Optimus Prime was a gorilla. I know that for sure. Yes. And like- uh, Bumble- Then you had the cheetah. Then you hit- Was it Bumblebee a cheetah, but they still called him Bumblebee? Probably. <laughs> yeah, like the, come to, that shit actually didn't make any fucking sense. No. Because <laughs> it was just like them- it was two, those two sides always on the on those little. There was no like no one to help. And I think Megatron was a T Rex or something stupid like that. Something big and dangerous. Yeah, it, it made no sense. Cool. Or think about it, that show made absolutely no sense because there was no real stakes. It was just two warring factions on a deserted yes. fucking planet. Yes. Where were the animals at that they they turned into from? Nobody ever knew. <laughs> and I remember they sold the toys at like McDonald's and shit. Yeah, I remember I took that toy to Target. Like, I, re- I returned it three times to trade it for a different one. And I settled on the gorilla on Optimus <laughs> Prime because he was the only one I could turn and transform. And he got fucking stuck. And I couldn't, I couldn't go back from the gorilla to the regular robot or some shit. <laughs> Weird. Man, we've been a lot of stuff out there. Yeah. Like I said, I'll find a list of things and just send them to you. <laughs> it's like, here you go. It like, just opens up a fucking Pandora's box. Because <laughs> like, you have the main stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Like Lion King, the Little Mermaid. Uh, that the things that almost like, everybody has seen. Like, like Timeless. Right. And they're universal. And you have uh, you like Aladdin and stuff. Come on, Any of the big Disney the, ones. Some dude came into the store today dressed up as Aladdin. Okay. Like six foot nine. I'm Aladdin. I know you're not, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you're that you're that one guy with the fat fucking uh, turn uh, the turban on his head. Yeah. The, the guy that he fought, the the cop. Oh, uh, Jafar. No, not or... Jafar. Like there was a there was a, a guy that he fought. Aladdin did. That was like this big bully that was a, a security guard or like a a, a a city guard. Yeah, that's who you that's who you should have dressed up as. <laughs> he used to always bully Aladdin. Yeah, I know who you're talking about there. And they always had him for it too. Like he had him, he had that guy he fought in the first one. He had that big bulky thief he fought in the second one. Mm-hmm. He, they always could put him against a stronger, bigger uh, opponent mm-hmm. because the mystical opponent was not his forte. Right. And he needed a physical co- combatant. Yeah, because Jafar was just Jafar was just a magician. Yeah. Like I'd throw fucking sand in his face. Like, ah, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be a fucked up way to lose? <laughs> <laughs> We'd throw sand in his face and take the knife to the chest. See, I was the hero. I'm Aladdin. And he fucking passes out. <laughs> Man, what else? Uh, what else is perennial? Uh, I mean, basically all the Disney movies. Yeah. At least the, like, 90s Disney movies. And then there's the ones that have always existed, like Cinderella. And you know, also got Star Wars. Uh, you know, you got Jedi lightsabers. It's for- what, what I find hilarious is now people are not hating the prequels. And they hate the <laughs> <laughs> what? The sequel sequels? <laughs> yes. Well, like uh, we've talked about before, they got rid of the the expanded universe that it was created in like chapter books and stuff like that. It was probably too like over. Like, it was probably too much content to condense into a specific. You didn't have to condense all of it though. You could have kept the, at least the, the storyline. <laughs> Maybe yeah. Like the way they killed off Luke. Oh, uh, Skywalker. Yeah. So Again, passed out from. Made him a little bitch. He passed out from a solid shit. <laughs> That's what it looked like. He's like. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. From like a billion miles away. <laughs> like he used the force, he extended himself a hundred billion miles. 
He shit himself and what happened? He's fucking, yeah, like the minute he died, he shit his pants. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have like uh, the Power Ranger stuff has been perennial pretty good. Like they're still making Power Ranger shit. Hmm. That's never going to end. Yeah, I don't know if it's in the same, uh, same like uh, mindset as it used to be though. Like back in the early 2000s, fucking Power Rangers was everywhere. I would say within the last five years, it's probably knocked off a little bit. Mm, yeah. But before that, like a huge everybody knows what Power Rangers is. Every kid on planet Earth during the early, late nineties was said just as their first stressful moment was watching the Green Ranger fuck them all, put in work on all the Power Rangers for three straight episodes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> he fucked it up. Fucking that mom. It left and right. Like when they first brought the Megazord out to fight him, he fucked up the Megazord. He was like, oh my God. <laughs> and then, uh, it, like, the most iconic part with him is whenever he calls the Dragon Zord. The only person that can have a fucking flute and a dagger. <laughs> oh, yeah, that famous fucking. That, that shit probably sold millions. The little fucking toy of it. You can still buy them, too. Of course you They're can. They're about 100 bucks, but yeah. yeah, yeah only now you can buy, like, a real version. Where it's a flute and a sword. Oh, God. Or dagger, anyway. Yeah. Then he also had the the long, like, uh, Chinese kung fu sword with him and shit. Man, he, he was putting in the work on all of them. He got, he would jump into, he jumped. Oh, yeah, he jumped. That's he what, jumped. That's the big moment that stressed <laughs> He jumped into the fucking sh- uh, ship of theirs, their fucking robot, and yeah. just fucked them up inside. That, like somebody said, that was like a uh, 50-story building that he jumped into. <laughs> Just jumped up onto it and then got in there and fucked them all up. You can do that. <laughs> so by the way, the other guys never did that. Just invaded inside. Apparently they didn't know how. And they didn't know like, where's the fuck door at. <laughs> yeah, man, that's, those three episodes really put a fucking <laughs> like yeah, you going to school trying to trying to learn like I don't have time to study, man. Uh, it's episode two of the power you get their ass at me. Like with the first episode, right? Yeah. You're like, oh, okay. Then the second episode, you're, like, uh, you're hoping that everything could goes back to normal, right? Yeah. Then he fucks them up on the second thing. Oh my god! <laughs> Think it's just too much. Well, uh, did you ever remember seeing the uh, episode where the White Ranger fights the Green Ranger? I think so. That was interesting. I think we've all seen. I remember I've seen all the whole series all the way up to when they, for some reason, lost their powers. Because I remember seeing the Victor Victor Ooze. Uh, oh, yeah, Ivan News. Oh, yeah, is it Ivan News? Ivan News. Ivan News. Yeah. Fucking Freddy Krueger. Ivan News. I know Freddy Krueger when I see him. Some of the worst CGI ever. But, man, I love that movie. It was a good movie. Yeah, they go to a different planet and they, they get the animal morphs and all that. Yeah, yeah. And uh, then there was that weird one where it was like a clockwork enemy. There was like a oh yeah the machine uh, yeah yeah the machine ones yeah and like something and, and they they send Rita and Lord Zed to live in an RV on the moon <laughs> yes they live in... when they live in a van down by the fucking river what the f- <laughs> they live in like a little bag <laughs> in space yeah and they're all they're they're gonna get back out. <laughs> It's the entire thing of, like, it's the comedy shtick of that entire... But if I remember correctly, like, they fucked up the Power Rangers in the first couple episodes. Yeah. They had to, like, re reconfigure their whole fucking, like, uh, battle plan. <laughs> Didn't they? Like... Yes. And after that, and then there was the one in space. Well, there's two in space. There was space and galaxy. There was one with, like, the, the different rainbow colors around their, like, clothes and stuff. You remember that one? Um... Bam. That was like right after the, the clockwork one, I think. It's like Galaxy Force or something. Yeah, I think it was Galaxy. And then it was Space after that. And like... Then uh, there was PD. PD? Oh, the police department? Yeah. Oh, God. Where they hit fire trucks? <laughs> okay, you could tell I dropped off at a certain point. Yeah. The, the, one, the one in space was the last one I really... Uh, I didn't even watch it consistently, though. No. Well, they had one character, I think, in Galaxy that was kind of like... Uh, From the old... The, like the anti-hero, almost, where you have a sword and stuff like that. Hmm. But, like, he was the character that was, like, an enemy but not an enemy type. Like, it had a little bit of depth to it, I'm not a, a lot. I'm an anti-hero. Yeah. I don't like you guys, but I won't hurt innocent people. And then you had Tommy become the, the Red Ranger, where he had the star. Did he? Not in Galaxy or anything, but that was... If the, I remember correctly, in, they because they had, like, the, the black, like, the huge black hole on the top of their head. That was, like, the... That head, was space. That was space? Yeah. What am I thinking about then? I think. I remember... If I remember to... Wait. Come to... Wait. Holy shit, wait. 
I just made an odd connection to my head. What's that? Did they take, you know those, the, the Saiyan suits? They had the fucking shoulder blades. Did they take that for the White Ranger? And add, and the Green Ranger added to them like as, an, as like a, a homage? No. Because uh, Power Rangers that they used the footage from that existed before. Dragon Ball? Z? I'm pretty sure, yeah. That would be awesome if it was uh, an Easter like egg. An inspired like an inspired. Like an Easter egg anyway. Yeah, I'd have to see. Whoa. Let me see. <laughs> I guess today is not the way it is because, you know, today is nostalgia. <laughs> nostalgia. Nostalgia cinema. <laughs> uh, I'll see whenever uh, they first release that for Power Rangers real quick. Let's we'll see. Yeah, okay. let me see. Uh, okay, so the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Super Sentai. This is what it's based off of. Super Sentai. Uh huh. <clears throat> oh yeah, I see that Super Sentai here. Yeah. So that was in. Holy shit! It can't be that old, can it? Nineteen seventy-five. <laughs> yeah, nineteen seventy-five to present. It still exists. <laughs> Super Sentai is still going. The first two Super Sentai series were created by Sh- uh, Shotora. Ishima, Ishinomori, then known for the 1970 the Common Rider TV series. Yeah, Common Rider. So when did he do this? He developed... Oh, I'm Spider-Boy. When did he make the damn Power Rangers? Well, it wasn't called Power Rangers at first. Well, I know that. I'm just saying, like, in general. Oh, like actual Power Rangers? No, like his actual, like, uh, the actual, like, the inspiration for Power Rangers. Right. Uh, Because I know they had a different name, but, like, I'm pretty sure... Even in Japan now, it's probably called Power Rangers at this point. Because America <laughs> tends to own, when anytime some, something, like, that's why it's Godzilla and not right. Gojira anymore. Right. Uh, let's see. Du, 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 du. It, but yeah, it's funny because uh, all the stock footage up to a certain point was all Super Sentai. And <laughs> they had to dub over it. <laughs> uh, Never noticed it as a kid. Yeah. Very blatant now. Well, you never saw the kids in their actual helmets and stuff. <laughs> you like take the helmets off, you know? At least not that I remember. When the hell was Super Sentai? I see a lot of shows here. Mm, 1992. 92? Yep. So that's the very first episode? That's, uh, well, that's the, the Super Sentai that uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers was based off of. Okay. So, 1992 is whenever that first came out, which is a long time ago, to be honest. 1992. And Power Rangers has been around since 93? Yeah. So, a year after, they start jacking that shit a year after it came out in Japan. Man, they know how to make that move. <laughs> That's so fucked up, though. So it's like, we'll, we'll just take it. So you'd have to basically see when did uh, the Saiyans first appear in uh, Dragon Ball. I'm trying to figure out the freaking manga. Yeah, because it would be probably the manga first. Although I don't know if Super Sentai was a since it's been around since the seventies. Did they draw the like it as a manga those, first? Those suits and stuff. Yeah, like I don't know. So Dragon Ball is eighty four. Right. Dragon Ball Z. That's the anime. Damn, the anime television series was 1989. Yeah. I didn't know it was that old. So it might be an Easter egg then. That'd be cool. It does, be. It now, looking back at it now, it looks familiar. It looks similar. Because of the shoulder blades in both of them. Although, uh, Green Ranger didn't really have shoulder blades, though. Could have sworn he did. Like, those, like the, the, the gold overlaying his... Because they all had, like, the regular shoulders, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. But his were covered by some, like, type of, like armor over it right and now in my head looking at it look reminds me of the saiyan suit think so in my head it does but then in my then again my head is not normal like normal people's yeah that well kind of but yeah similar reminds me of the saiyan thing but there's six a fucking mile the high heavens yeah <laughs> i used to love that and then when when he had the room with the just the shoulder straps 
I about busted a nut when I saw Vegeta in the shoulder strap arm. Oh, <laughs> the, like the, the, the the just the straps. Yeah, I was like, that looks even cooler than the fucking bla- the shoulder the pads. shoulder blade pads. Yeah, the fucking football pads you got on. <laughs> the football pads kind of look like football pads though. Dude, that's why he probably got inspiration from. <laughs> it's like, eh, it looks like shoulder pads. It's good. It's like, oh, football, cool. Let me do school football with, uh, you know, superpowers. <laughs> what I find funny is that all the people that did uh, act in uh, Power Rangers, they actually had to have some kind of uh, martial art ability. At least the Black Ranger ne- seemed like he knew he was doing outside of uh, the suit. Yeah. Well, so did, like the Red Ranger, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, his... I think he actually fought in a few fights. But he was actually yeah, in two... fights. Yeah. And then uh, uh, Jason uh, Frank, what is his, what the fuck is his name? Hmm? That is his name, right? Who? The Green Ranger? The Green Ranger, oh. It's... Isn't his real name like Jason Frank or Jason Lee or something. <laughs> Jason Lee. I don't know. <laughs> I thought it was Jason, because uh, it was uh, funny because I thought it, uh, like, uh, his name, uh, Jason David Frank. I was close. Okay. So it, it, so Jason Frank is, yeah, I was right. I'm surprised. <laughs> Me remembering names is not very, very <laughs> common. So yeah, Jason David Frank, though, he's uh, into martial arts, though. He did MMA, too, for a little while. I don't know, like, what division or anything, but. It seems like a, that'd be a welterweight. You think so? I don't know. I don't, think, I don't see him at 185. Doesn't seem that big. No, I don't think what he was. What do you, 185s are fucking huge. <laughs> he seems like a 170, maybe a 155. Yeah. Because uh, he was 5'11". Oh, so. yeah, he'd probably be 170. He, does, he, he wasn't that bulky either. No. Like, if you see one of those 185s now, they're like, they look like heavyweights at this fucking point. <laughs> you know that one guy I told you about, the fucking uh, uh, the middleweight champion? Mm-hmm. <laughs> The one from the the fucking the the uh, the saga about Asanya. Damn, I forgot his fucking name. <laughs> uh, it says he was two fourteen. Two fourteen. Yeah. No way he fought at fucking heavyweight. I think so. Uh, martial arts record uh, total. He uh, actually fought and uh, he had one win and uh, it was by submission. What weight class? Uh, I'm looking right now. Uh. Unless it was catch weight, just whatever weight you have, <laughs> which is a bad idea. Because he fought as an amateur. Yeah. Uh, duh, duh, duh. Yeah, yeah, professionally he won one against uh, Jose Roberto Vasquez. Uh, lasted for 46 seconds. So it's on my sex life. <laughs> 46 seconds? It's like, I'm done. They call, they call that a marathon run. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say what weight or anything or what class he was in. Let me see. Let's see. He's got a lot of fights. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. So you fought him. Him. None of them have any names. Okay. That doesn't help me. <laughs> we got a career. Power Rangers. We all know he did Power Rangers. Here we go. Um... So he's monophone, okay. Here we go. Uh, I began training with the UFC when it was... If he... It's not saying his weight class, which is annoying. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't showing anything. Frank. Frank. Fighting Herschel. Okay, in position fighting Herschel. Okay, so he was going to fight... His president was saying... Okay, so if he fought Herschel, Herschel Walker... Six foot one. Holy shit. <laughs> Maybe he did fight a heavyweight. I think so. Because Herschel Walker, fucking 220. Yeah, he was a heavyweight. He wanted to fight Herschel Walker? <laughs> Jesus Christ, a big motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, Frank announced on his Facebook fan page that uh, he was scheduled to make his professional debut on August 4th, 2010 in Houston at Puro Com- uh, Combate, number one. He fought a heavyweight. Damn, anyway, 5'11"? Yeah. You can turn it on him. <laughs> so he went from Power Rangers to actually trying to fight heavyweight? Fighting grown-ass men. <laughs> Weighing 200 pounds. 200, 300 pounds. Yeah. So it, 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 he actually tried. But my point was... He was undefeated, at least. Yeah. I mean, he didn't fight that many, but yeah. 
Still, though, going undefeated is undefeated. Yeah, and they were all quick rounds, too. It's like a minute, 46 seconds. I got my goals right now, see? I become a, a, a triple-A m- a movie star uh, because you join the uh, uh, semi-pro football team and go to the NFL, uh, become a boxer and fight with Canelo, uh, retire in what I'm 80 and become a porn star, <laughs> and then you, they just <laughs> die. <laughs> Yeah, but tell them what uh, football team you want to join. Oh, yeah, the Tulsa Golden <laughs> Hurricanes in college. <laughs> Stay up to the fucking natties. <laughs> I, like the, I like the fact that they moved on to a playoff bracket. Yeah. Instead of just picking two teams. Yeah. Because I, was... I hated the top, uh, the like, the rankings anyway, because they're so, like, politically biased anyway. Yeah. That... But they didn't get rid of the fucking Super, the, the bowl games. Yeah. So you still have lesser teams. Get, they still get more exposure at a bowl game. You know what they have in the college football 2025? 20, like, they have all these, like, they were showing all the bowl games you could go to. Yeah. Fucking the Pop-Tarts Bowl. <laughs> I, I shit you not. The fucking Kellogg's Bowl with fucking Tony the Tiger. Like, they, they pay for these bowls, right? Yeah. Because, you, I mean, you make a lot of money on these fucking football games. Yeah. And the most famous, obviously, is going to be the Orange Bowl or the Rose Bowl. But uh, Orange Bowl, Rose Bowl, Fiesta Bowl. Yeah, uh, yeah. The Cotton Bowl. Those are the four main ones, aren't they? Because I know the four teams play those four main main bowls, right? In the mm-hmm. in the in the finals. I think so, yeah. Don't they? I think uh, I'm... and then like they, they move on to the natty, the two winners. Right. But I don't know if they go to what it's not I don't I don't know if it's called a bowl game anymore. I think it's just called the championship. Right. I think I could be wrong, but I need to get a PS five and get in college football twenty five. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there, there's, uh, quite a few bowls, it looks like. There's 32 of them. 32? The, in the game that I've seen, I think. Yeah, the Cotton Bowl is, uh, one of them. The Sugar Bowl is the other. The Sugar Bowl, that, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so which are the main ones? Uh, let's see. Which one is the Championship Bowl? Or is it just called the fucking Natty Bowl? <laughs> the Natty Bowl. We all call it the Natty. You gotta <laughs> go for the Natty. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. When the hell did, when the hell did, did all you drop off so bad? I don't know. Oh, they're getting fucking massacred in the SEC. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry, guys. We're not just nerds. <laughs> we, also, we also enjoy sports. <laughs> yeah, but and then Texas wasn't doing bad at all. <laughs> like, fucking, then they lost one game. Right. They got dropped to fifth place. Which is, like, really? One game? Alabama lost and they that's, didn't that's how, it, that's how it goes, I guess. In one game, it destroys your whole fucking career. Pretty much. Back when I played 05 NCAA, I got the I would get the uh, the army undefeated, right? Mm-hmm. Thirteen and zero. If I remember how many games there were, it could be less, it could be eleven or twelve, but it, it would be that and zero, right? Mm-hmm. And then the next time for the pre the preseason uh, polling, right? I would I'd still be ranked under the twenty fifth, the top twenty five, for two straight years, and then if I lost to any game, I would just get I wouldn't even make the top twenty five. Uh. Damn, it is really hard to to find the names of these shits. Yeah, <laughs> uh, like, it's funny. There, there's the the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Yes, <laughs> it's on it's on twenty five. Yeah, the Boca Raton Bowl. Yep, the Armed Forces Bowl. Uh-huh. The Camellia Bowl. Yep. I don't know if it's on there though. Do what? I don't know if that one's on there yet. The Camellia. Let me see. Is that what it's called? Or Camellia. I don't know if that's in the game. Uh, uh, Who the fuck is racing outside my damn house? <laughs> There's the Celebration Bowl. Yep. The New Orleans Bowl. Mm-hmm. The uh, Birmingham Bowl. Uh, I think so, yeah. The Cotton Bowl. Yep. The Cure Bowl. That one I don't know. The LA Bowl. The the sugar. <laughs> there, there might be more bowls in real life than there are on the game. God, no. God dang. The Sugar Bowl. There's, of course, the Sugar Bowl. The 68 Ventures Bowl. That one, uh, some of them could just be a one-time bowl. Well, how many bowl, okay, type of this in. How many bowl games total are going to be in the 2025 uh, football? <laughs> that, that'll that narrow it down. Like 270 bowls. <laughs> but, like, it, it's like it's nice because it means that some of the lesser teams, right, they get a, uh, uh, they get a playoff-type environment. You know what I mean? Right. Like, you, you, you go, like, maybe you go, like, what's the, What's the records right now? 36 bowl games. <laughs> and four of, the, four of them are the major ones, right? 
I believe so, yes. Uh, I'm looking at the schedule right here. Fuck, 36 of them? Yeah. Jeez, that's a lot of games. <laughs> that's now times... Uh, okay, so here's what it's going to be, right? Okay, so do 36 times 2. That's... Yeah, uh, 72. So that's 72 teams out of like 130? 120? How I many, so. how many uh, college teams are there? I have no idea. That's like half of the fucking uh, sport. They're all going to a bowl. <laughs> yeah, they're all going to the fucking. They're not that. They're, they're not that uh, amazing then. So here's the here's the bowls that are going to be played. Okay. Okay. The first one will be December 14th. Uh, it's going to be the cricket celebration bowl. December 14th. Yeah. Already. <laughs> yeah. Wait, when is college over? How many games are there? And that's going to be at the Mercedes Benz Stadium. Mercedes Benz Stadium <laughs> in Atlanta, Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, December 14th is going to be the, uh, the uh, salute to veterans bowl. Okay. I respect it. Uh, December 17th is going to be scooters, coffee, Frisco uh, bowl. Do you know that they're both ranked Navy and army? Oh, are they really top 25? Ooh. 20, 23 and 24. Oh, it's going to be a vicious game. <laughs> they're going to fucking massacre each other. <laughs> Then December 18th is going to be the Boca Raton Bowl. There you go, the Boca Raton Bowl. It's going to be in Boca Raton, Florida. Oh, baby. Imagine getting to going from like uh, like Alaska to Boca Raton. And then the uh, December 18th is going to be the L.A. Bowl, hosted by Gronk. I don't know what... It, <laughs> Gronk, uh, Gronkowski or her? I hope so. <laughs> Which would be funny. Or it's going to be Gronk from uh, X, the A.I.? <laughs> Then we have December 19th is going to be the New Orleans Bowl. Okay. Uh, December 20th is going to be the Staff DNA Cure Bowl. What the fuck, Bowl? That's what they should call <laughs> uh, December 20th is the Union Home Mortgage Gasparilla Bowl. You, you So it is just sponsored fucking balls by companies. <laughs> <laughs> they can at least be getting a classy name. Then, because uh, I'm skipping over the uh, the first round games of different things, the playoff rounds. Uh, December 23rd is Wait, be... the, the first round, they're also part of the bowls? Uh, no, what well, just says uh, CPF first round uh, game of the first round playoffs <laughs> is December 20th and the 21st and the 21st and 21st. Okay, okay. So it's going to be the first... Uh, the first set? The, the, you know, like the first seeded and game, then the, basically. The final seed or the... But it's not like listed as an actual bowl. Okay, so they're just regular games. Right, until you get to the bowl game at the, the end. Bowl, the good old bowl games. The uh, 23rd is going to be the Myrtle Beach Bowl. No, that one I knew. Now, the Myrtle Beach Bowl. <laughs> uh, December 23rd is going to be the famous Idaho Potato Bowl. Oh, I like to say the famous Idaho <laughs> Potato Bowl. Like, it's, like anyway, everyone knows what it is. December 24th is going to be the, uh, the Hawaii Bowl. God, imagine you imagine your school your school having to go to Hawaii, right? Yeah. Like, to play the bowl? How expensive it is going to be. <laughs> December 26th is going to be the uh, Game Above Sports Bowl. Game Above Sports Bowl? 26th is going to be the Rate Bowl. A rate Bowl? December 26th. Be careful, be careful with that word. <laughs> add the T. Yeah, so, add, add the T, not the... <laughs> December 26th that evening is going to be the 68 Adventures Bowl. Okay. 27th is going to be the Lockheed Martin Armed Forces Bowl. Gee, <laughs> there's a lot of random bowls now. You know what Lockheed Martin though is, right? No. Nah. They're the ones that make those jets. Oh. Like an actual like fighter jet. Oh, Lord. Yeah, the Lockheed Martin. So they're paying for a... Lockheed Martin, if I remember right, they're the one that makes the stealth bomber. So they're making a... They're paying for a bowl game? Yes. Okay. Because it's a private company. Good for them. I mean, they have government contracts, but yeah. Watch them jets fly overhead. Yeah. And that's going to be the Armed Forces Bowl. Oh, there you go. So, uh, 20... Wait, so is the Armed Forces Bowl only played by the three teams, or is it by any team? Uh, is it only Army, Navy, and Air Force? I think so. Hmm. I think so. So the, there's just always the one loser out? That sucks. Whichever one's ranked the least. Yeah. <laughs> With the worst record. <laughs> December 27th is going to be the Birmingham Bowl. The Birmingham Bowl. Oh, here's one. Also, December 27th, that night is going to be the AutoZone Liberty Bowl. Oh, God. So every year is going to be a different bowl name, uh, unless you have, like, the main ones. Yeah. Because, like, these are all just whatever that want to be titled by the company paying for it. Imagine this one, though. The DirecTV Holiday Bowl. <laughs> wow. They're not even playing with these random names. <laughs> or the uh, the next one is the SRS Distribution, Las Vegas Bowl. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, the, the 28th is going to be the Wasabi Fenway Bowl. The Wasabi Fenway Bowl? Mm-hmm. 28th is going to be the Bad Boy Motors Pinstripe Bowl. Damn, they don't really care about these names at all. <laughs> the Bad Boy Mowers? The Bad Boy Mowers Pinball <laughs> Bowl. It'd be like naming it the Briggs and Stratton Bowl. <laughs> Uh, the twenty eighth is going to be the uh, Isleta New Mexico Bowl. Gotta go to Mexico. Twenty eighth Pop Tarts Bowl. There you go. There's the Pop Tarts Bowl. 
<laughs> so that, that means when the game comes out next year, there's going to be a different bull names, but there's going to be 36 of them. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. And some of them will be the same. And some of them will be weird as fuck named. December 28th, uh, also, that afternoon, is going to be the Snoop Dogg Arizona Bowl, presented yeah. by Jen and Juice by Dr. Dre. you got to be fucking kidding. He's paying for a bowl game. <laughs> <laughs> by Jen and Juice by Dre and Snoop. Jesus. Uh, also, you're going to have the Go Bowling Military Bowl. Another military one? How many military? So they can, it has to be. Other. That's the the Navy and Marine Corps uh, Memorial Stadium, though. So, so I don't know if it's going to be only the Navy and the Marines playing each other at that one or what. Wait, the Marines don't have a football team, do they? I, I thought they did. No, it's just Air Force, Navy, and uh, Army. Yeah, yeah, the Marines are just never good. Well, because they have a school. They have those schools. Yeah. Like West Point. Yeah, Marines do, too. They have a, have a college? Yeah, as far as I know. I could be wrong, but. Huh. Uh, well, they better get themselves a f uh, football team. Then you have uh, the 28th also, you have the Valero uh, uh, Alamo Bowl. The Valero Alamo Bowl. Like the Alamo Bowl, I think, is the actual name of it. Oh, but they the, just added the extra Valero. The Valero's a gas station. Just who the, oh, because they're the one paying for it. Yeah. Oh, now I get it. Okay. So some of them have regular names, but they have a, the advertiser attached to it. Yeah. The, the sponsor. Yeah. Okay, I get you now. Then the next one's the Radiance Technologies Independence Bowl. That one does not sound like it's named... <laughs> <laughs> and then you have the next one after that's the uh, the Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. Music City Music City sounds like an actual bowl name. Music City Bowl. Yeah, but the the Trans Perfect. Now it sounds like the kind of sponsor. Uh, then you have the uh, the Relia Quest Bowl. <laughs> the Relia Quest Bowl. <laughs> then you have the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl. There it is. I the, the Sun Bowl. That's Sun Bowl's the actual name. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tony. Well, then Tony the Tiger, they are great. What about this one? The Cheez-Its Citrus Bowl. Cheez-Its has a fucking bowl game? <laughs> then you have the Texas Bowl. There you go. Then you have the Fiesta Bowl, yes. but it's the, the VRBO Fiesta Bowl. So the other one's paying for it? Yeah. yeah. The Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Oh, God. So it's a Peach Bowl, but it's Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, yeah. Chick-fil-A. Yeah, because they, they can't pay for a Sunday game. <laughs> it's got to be Saturday, because they're already closed on Sundays. <laughs> then you have the Rose Bowl. There you go. Bro. Presented by Prudential. So that so they are. But it makes more sense to yeah, say they're, presented they're, by. They're make it. Oh yeah, you can't be like uh, what's it called? The Rose Bowl. No, the other one. Like who's sponsoring? Oh, the uh, Prudential. So you can't be like Prudential Rose Bowl. Right. Yeah. It's Rose Bowl presented by. Because that one's a classy bowl. Exactly. And the same thing goes. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> I was gonna say the, the All State Sugar Bowl. The All State Sugar Bowl. <laughs> yeah. Then you have the the tax slayer Gator Bowl, the Gator Bowl. Yep. Uh, then you have the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl. Damn, really? Then you have Duke's Mayo Bowl, <laughs> the Mayo Bowl. I wonder if Mayo is the actual name of it. Or I, I don't know. That's a sponsor. Then you have the Bahamas Bowl, the Bahamas Bowl. I want to play that one. Then you have the Capital One Orange Bowl, the Goodyear Classic, uh, the Goodyear. Cotton Bowl Classic. Uh, then you have the College Football Playoff National Championship. Right. Oh, so that one's just that was just a championship. No, well, there's two more though. There's two Back for that. Oh my god, there's there, so much football. <laughs> there's the East West Shrine Bowl. East West. Yeah. And then uh, the last one is the Reese Senior Bowl. It's senior Bowl. So I guess just for senior players, maybe. Maybe. Or just old people playing football. <laughs> Like Dan Marino, 102 years old. Duck. Wait, so. <laughs> uh, far, Brett Far. So there's two games after the championship? Yeah. That's stupid. They'd be like, it was two games after the Super Bowl. That makes no sense. Right. Oh, they must be the All-Star games. Could be. They have, have to be. Like the Pro Bowl. But that was the Pro Bowl before the Super Bowl, didn't they? Or did they do it after? Uh... They do it before, I thought, don't they? I don't remember. They, they took it off a long time ago. Like they, they don't play the Pro Bowl anymore. Right. That I know of. It has to be the All-Star Games. The, the, la the last two. It would have to be, uh... But no one's going to watch those. No. Nobody cares about those. Yeah, like, they don't want mixed teams. <laughs> well, you know, like, the players from different teams playing together, because it's, it's not, doesn't make any, it's not going to matter. It's not, it's not like you're going to see like a glimpse of what team's going to be good next year. Right. You're watching all players play on one team. And the national championship, it looks like it's going to be played at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia this year. Man. When, what day is that one? Uh, January 20th. January. At 730. Oh, baby. Let's watch, them, let's watch some football. <laughs> see who gets natty this year.
<laughs> I wonder what channel is going to be on. Uh, I think it actually might say. Because NBC and ABC and CBS, they own the fucking football. They do. Like, I know, like, there's there's branch at the streaming. Like, that Thursday game between Thunder, or no, between uh, the Giants and the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. They got 18 million views, viewers. Right. And, like, or they had, like, 16 million, right? And, like, mm-hmm. 18 million concurrent. It's like it broke records of uh, the, the most watched football game of all time that I know of. Yeah. So and I watched. I was watching that shit too. I was trying to hope my Giants could, could any, do anything this year. <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. Oh well, we'll find out. <laughs> They'll let us know. Oh, you'll know about it. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, and uh, there's a lot of bowl games though. Do they start college before or after high school? The uh, NFL. Uh, or about the same time. I thought they start. After, like in uh, like in a normal season, right? Yeah. Uh, that way, like, because you don't want them to like, because you they're not gonna fucking overshadow the Super Bowl. And you don't want them playing during the Super Bowl, right? You don't want anything playing to them during the Super Bowl. Uh, if you guys want to understand the difference between the two, the, the three main sports in America, well, college football starts before NFL. Okay, so it has to in a right. year. Yeah. So. It ends uh, for a little bit before the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl's in February, right? Uh, yeah, February 9th. Hell yeah. So yeah, it'll be after. So if anyone wants to know the difference between the, the three main sports in America, baseball, basketball, and football, if you put the revenue of baseball and basketball together, you'll get the revenue of the NFL. Almost. <laughs> uh, a- a- NBA and uh, a- uh, MLB. Mm-hmm. Is uh, ten million a piece? The uh, NFL is twenty billion. Yeah. So they're, they're so you could actually incorporate probably uh, NHL, WNBA, NBA. I mean, fucking football is just a whole different animal, right? Yeah. Twenty billion dollars. And what's really sad is I think college football has even more investment than actual NFL because it's like I, there's so much more unpredictability. I think mm-hmm. like you just never know what's going to happen. Yeah. Like you never. Who knew that Army and Navy would go undefeated this year? Yeah, nobody expected that one. And them to be ranked. I haven't seen them ranked in years. <laughs> I couldn't get them ranked, and I was playing them in 05. <laughs> Goddamn Black Knights, I couldn't get them ranked for the same. We would go undefeated, and they would never rank us top 25 the next year in the yeah. preseason bowl. Well, <laughs> the preseason poll. But we get a bowl game. You got a bunch of bowl games. They had 36 of them. I thought they were going to be done with that, which is why I wasn't, because I always liked the bowl games, right? Yeah. Because it was that level of like, you didn't know what teams would face you off each other that would never normally play each other. Right. So it could be anybody in the bowl games. Yeah. And like you had lesser teams that would get a chance to show off on a, on a national scale. Most- or or if they got teamed up against somebody like a, usually like a Texas or an OU, and then they would just get slaughtered so badly. It's like, oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> oh. I think that was one of the games that OU won by like 70-something and nothing. It was a massacre ball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's just blood everywhere. <laughs> And so, uh, but I, I, I now realizing like there's no way they would ever discontinue the bowl games. Yeah, no, there's too much profit, too to much made. revenue. Yeah, like, and there's 36 of them, and they all and have like their... 32 of them are just normal regular teams. Yeah, and the the four ones are the main ones mm-hmm. that with the main like championship teams. Yeah, and they have they, they got the playoffs, and then you have all the sponsor names in the front. So yeah, so I can get college football 25 and take a shitty team mm-hmm. and get a bowl game. Yeah. And I did that in 2010 on the uh, 360, right? Because I have 2010 before I got 2014. And I took the San Diego, no, the San San, San Jose State Spartans. And our first, we were a uh, we were ranked 109, I think, in the preseason poll. Right. And uh, my our first game, and I was I was a halfback because I was playing Road to Glory, so I only play as one one player. And uh, I, I was a running back. And the first game was against number four, USC. Oh. I was like, fuck. And uh, I kid you not, we actually beat them. Oh, really? So we went, we, we hit beat them so bad, they went from number four to number 19 in the next week's polls. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I was laughing my ass off ever since, because then they lost the sex game and they got knocked off the top 25. So I was laughing. Every time I saw the USC anywhere, I was laughing, because I, I, I'm the one that broke you. <laughs> I felt like Penguin when he, he thought he could beat Batman and they... In the in the car uh, car chase, yeah. It's like I got you, I got you. <laughs> and then the very next game, right after number four, USC 
was fucking number 24 Utah. I was like, fuck, another fucking top 25 team? And we fucking beat them too. <laughs> so we went fucking 2-0 oh on two. We actually knocked them off the top 25 in the next the next week's rankings. Yeah. That was, that's how bad they looked. <laughs> We knocked USC to 19 and Utah to 25, or out of the 24. And then the very third game, right? Because we were we were fucking uh, on fucking cloud nine. Yeah. We fucking played Stanford, and they fucking destroyed us. And then we lost the conference game at the Boise fucking State and fucking Hawaii. So we ran it up with a record of nine and three for the season. We lost a team we didn't think we would lose to. And then you beat the ones that, that you were worried fuck, about. They should have destroyed us, right? Yeah. We we played UFC, USC in fucking their home sta- uh, home stadium. The Trojans. Which is like one of the hardest. Yeah, that's actually iconic because it was part Spartans versus Trojans. Yeah. And uh, we ended up going to a, uh, we got a bowl game that year against Air Force. The fuck something, I forgot what it was called. Oh, the New Mexico Bowl. And they fucking <laughs> destroyed us. <laughs> so we ended up, we ended up, uh. We ended up uh, nine and four that season. So then the next year, right? I'm thinking like, great, we're fucking actually good. You know what my record was the next year? Fucking four and eight. Oh, <laughs> that's bad. I was I was actually losing my fucking mind. <laughs> it's like son of a bitch. <laughs> what the fuck happened? <laughs> we were losing to teams that we would not have lost to if we beat USC, right? In my head, I'm thinking like, okay, we, we can beat this a uh, fucking A-plus team. We're a C-plus team, right? Mm-hmm. Why the fuck can't we beat these other fucking C-plus teams? You know what I mean? So yeah, we ended up 4-8. and eight. We didn't get a bull bid. Fuck my life. And then the next year, I'm a junior in high school and college. <laughs> college football, man. Drive me crazy. <laughs> I mean, look at, look at OU and US, OSU. Yeah. They're doing terrible this year. Yeah. They were ranked. OU's doing better, I think, than OSU, though, which is good. They were they were tied, weren't they? Well, no, they were ranked before the season started. Yeah, they uh, they both were. And now they're both unranked. Are they completely both unranked? Yeah. Oh. That's not good. Entirely. Oh. Yeah, it looks like... Uh, Always next year. <laughs> looks like the AP poll right now for this week is uh, Oregon number one. Yep. 7-0. and Then Georgia. The Ducks. The, the Penn State, yeah, they have not been number three in God knows how long. You want to see something? You want to know something funny? What's that? They were the number one ranked, ranked, ranked team in my campaign in San Jose State. Oh, really? They were undefeated that year. They won it like number one the whole time, the whole way through. Then you have the Ohio State Buckeyes. They've been number like always been ranked. Yeah, yeah, and the Texas, good old Texas. I'll take Texas. They're one loss. They dropped four fucking spots for hey, that man. one loss. You lose a lot in these games. Yeah, but they beat a lot of good people this year. They beat a lot of good teams. Like, I, well, I, you know what? I'll take solace. Alabama's number 15, so that's cool. <laughs> you don't like Alabama? The big, they get a lot of preference. We'll say that. Like Crimson Wave or what do they call it? Them and then uh, and then I'll take LSU being number eight because I can't stand LSU either. LSU? LSU's number eight? Yeah. Okay. I work with a dude that uh, loves LSU and I can't stand him. Louisiana State University? Uh-huh. <laughs> Yep. 